Hi there. Today we shall be reading the 12th book of my Thomas Story Library. Book 12, Bill and Ben, based on the railway series by the Reverend W. Audrey. Illustrations by Robin Davis. Trains. This is a story about Bill and Ben, the twin engines. They worked at the quarry and they found it very boring. Then one day, something happened that made them realize the quarry was quite exciting after all. Bill and Ben worked at the quarry. The twin engines loved excitement and they often found the quarry boring. One morning, they were busy moving trucks. Listen, Bill, said Ben. Can you hear something? What sort of something? asked Bill. Something different, replied Ben. I can't hear anything different, said Bill. Exactly, huffed Ben. Everything's the same, sounds the same, looks the same. What we need is a surprise, said Bill. What sort of surprise, asked Ben. But before Bill could answer, the quarry master arrived. I have just received a message from the fat controller, he said. He wants you to go and see him at the harbor. I wonder what we have done wrong this time, said Bill to Ben, anxiously. At the harbor, the fat controller was waiting for them. Edward is taking the children on a special trip today, he said. So I want you to go to the harbor station and look after these trucks. We'll do our best, sir, said the twins, and they wished away, relieved that they hadn't done anything wrong after all. When Bill and Ben arrived at the station, Gordon spoke to them severely. You must behave here, he said. You're on the main line now, not at the quarry. Actually, Gordon, giggled Ben, when we saw you, we thought we were in the scrapyard. Gordon was so cross he couldn't think what to say. Just make sure that my coaches are ready for my evening train, he spluttered as he fumed away. The twins set to work. This will be easy, they said to each other. We know all about trucks, but they weren't used to the harbor trucks, and the trucks knew it. We'll show you around, the trucks said to Bill and Ben. We want to help. Bill and Ben should have known better than to believe them. The trucks told Bill and Ben to put things in all the wrong places. Soon the yard was in a dreadful muddle. When Gordon saw what had happened, he was furious. You blocked me in, he said to Bill and Ben. Now my evening train will be late. The troublesome trucks giggled and giggled. When the fat controller found out what had happened, he spoke severely to Bill and Ben. I thought I could trust you to work with trucks, he said, but I was wrong. Now go out and sort out this mess. Gordon waited impatiently, while Bill and Ben put everything back in its proper place. By the time Gordon was able to leave, it was very late indeed. His passengers were furious. Bill and Ben were sent back to the quarry in disgrace. As they began work the next day, Ben sighed loudly. Back at the boring old quarry, he said, and still no sign of a surprise. Just then, there was a loud rumbling. That's a strange noise, gasped Bill. I've never heard a noise like that before. I have, whispered his driver nervously. It sounds like a rock slide to me. Then the alarm came. Danger! Clear the quarry! shouted the quarry master. Workmen scrambled into Bill and Ben's trucks, and the twins pulled them away. Rocks were just beginning to tumble down into the quarry. Thank goodness we're here, said the twins. Otherwise, all these people could have been hurt. They were just puffing out the quarry when they heard a cry. A workman had been left behind. Help! Wait for me! he cried. Ben waited as the man scrambled over the falling rocks to reach the train. 
He climbed aboard, and the twins pulled out the quarry. Just in time, with a huge crash, hundreds of rocks poured down the sides of the quarry. Everyone was safely out of the way, but there was rubble everywhere. At that moment, Edward arrived with a fat controller. Oh dear, said Bill. This wasn't our fault. I hope the fat controller won't be cross with us again. But he wasn't. Bill and Ben, the fat controller said, you may have a lot to learn about trucks, but you behaved quickly and bravely in an emergency. So three cheers for Bill and Ben, our heroes. Hip hip hooray, cried Edward and all the workmen. Oh, thank you, sir, said Bill. Being called heroes, well, it's, it's, it's a really nice surprise, laughed Ben.